Michigan CDL General Knowledge Test. Question 1. Which of these is a good driving rule for work zones? Both of these answers are correct. Use your brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Turn on new flashers, hazard lights and drive slowly. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 2. Which of these is good thing to remember about drinking alcohol? Small quantities of alcohol can improve reaction time. The driver can control how quickly the body rids itself of alcohol. Alcohol first affects judgment and self-control. Answer Alcohol first affects judgment and self-control. Question 3 during a pre-trip inspection you discover an exhaust leak or power steering leak, you should Report the problem and make arrangements for another vehicle to use. Go home because you shouldn't drive the vehicle this way. Note the problem and continue your route. Answer Report the problem and make arrangements for another vehicle to use. Question 4. Whether or not you load and secure your load yourself, you are responsible for. Recognizing overloads and poorly balanced weight. Knowing your cargo is securely tied down and covered. Both answers are correct. Answer Both answers are correct. Question 5. Axle weight means the following. The weight transmitted to the ground by one axle or one set of axles. Both of these are correct. The weight transmitted to the tires from the axle. Answer The weight transmitted to the ground by one axle or one set of axles. Question 6. Which of these statements is true about bad weather driving conditions? When the temperature drops, bridges will freeze before roadways. Driving conditions become more dangerous as the temperature rises. The road becomes more slippery as rain continues than when the rain began. Answer When the temperature drops, bridges will freeze before roadways. Question 7. Truck escape ramps should not be used unless you have first tried all other ways to save your vehicle after brake failure. Are designed to protect vehicles from damage. Cannot be used by certain types of heavy vehicles. Answer Are designed to protect vehicles from damage. Question 8. As part of your pre-trip inspection you must Check for overloads Both of these are correct Check for poorly balanced weight Answer Both of these are correct Question 9 which of these best describes how you should use the brake pedal on a steep downhill grade? Snubbing With stronger pressure as the vehicle goes downhill Repeated strong pressure, then release Answer Snubbing 
Question 10. How many red reflective triangles should you carry? 3 1 4 Answer 3 Question 11. When you drive in the mountains, you will have to use lower gears to drive safely down grades. Which of these does not affect your choice of gears? Length of the grade Tire tread type Weight of the load Answer Tire tread type Question 12. You are driving a truck with a manual transmission. You have to stop the truck on the shoulder while driving on an uphill grade. Which of these is a good rule to follow when putting it back in motion up the grade? Let the vehicle roll straight backwards a few feet before you engage the clutch. Use the parking brake to hold the vehicle until the clutch engages. Keep the clutch slipping while slowly accelerating. Answer Use the parking brake to hold the vehicle until the clutch engages. Question 13. When driving a commercial vehicle with a height over 13 feet, you should not worry about the height clearance as long as you stay on the state or federal highways. Assume all clearances are high enough. Stop and make sure, if you aren't certain a clearance is high enough. Answer Stop and make sure, if you aren't certain a clearance is high enough. Question 14. What is the definition of sleep debt? The amount of sleep you get each day. The cumulative effect of not getting enough sleep. The money you owe hotels after resting there. Answer. The cumulative effect of not getting enough sleep. Question 15. Which of the following statements is true? Most hazards are more easily seen at night than during the day. Many heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight and 6 a.m. Most people are more alert at night than during the day. Answer. Many heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight and 6 a.m. Question 16. Which of the following best describes how sleep debt can be paid off? Overcome it with willpower and non-sleep aids. It will go away by itself over a period of time. It can only be paid off by sleeping. Answer. It can only be paid off by sleeping. Question 17. Dry bulk tanks require special care because They have a high center of gravity. Both of these are true. The load can shift. Answer. Both of these are true. Question 18. When driving in cold weather conditions, your tire tread should Have at least 4 30 seconds inch tread on it. Have at least 2 30 seconds inch tread on it. Provide enough traction to steer and push the vehicle through snow. Answer. Provide enough traction to steer and push the vehicle through snow.
Question 19. As part of your pre-trip inspection you must Check for overloads Both of these are correct Check for poorly balanced weight Answer Both of these are correct Question 20. Which of these statements is true about drugs? The use of alcohol or drugs can lead to collision and, or arrest. A driver can use any prescription drug while driving. Certain prescription drugs are allowed to reduce fatigue. Answer The use of alcohol or drugs can lead to collision and, or arrest. Question 21. Which of these is not a danger when an automatic transmission is forced into a lower gear at a high speed? Loss of engine braking effect. Loss of steering control. Damage to the transmission. Answer. Loss of steering control Question 22. If a straight vehicle, no trailer or articulation, goes into a front wheel skid, it will Go straight ahead even if the steering wheel is turned Go to the right Slide sideways and spin out Answer. Go straight ahead even if the steering wheel is turned. Question 23. What is the minimum length for mad flaps? Within 8 inches of the surface of the road. Within 6 inches from the surface of the road. Within 10 inches of the surface of the road. Answer. Within 8 inches of the surface of the road. Question 24. Which of the following statements about tank vehicles is true? The term tank vehicle refers only to those vehicles having a permanently attached tank. Special skills are required to haul liquid tanks. All tank vehicles have some sort of bulkhead or a baffle. Answer Special skills are required to haul liquid tanks. Question 25. To prevent a load from shifting, there should be at least one tie down for every feet of cargo. 15. 7 10 Answer 10 Question 26 Why put the starter key in your pocket during the pre-trip inspection? So no one moves the vehicle For your safety So you don't lose it Answer For your safety Question 27 Can federal inspectors inspect your truck or bus? Number Yes, but they cannot place it out of service Yes, and they can place it out of service Answer Yes, and they can place it out of service. Question 28. What factors determine your selection of safe speed when going down a long steep downgrade? Total weight of the vehicle, length of the grade, steepness, road conditions, and weather. Condition of the brakes, 
radio bulletins, and alertness of the driver. Size of vehicle, traffic conditions, curves in the road. Answer Total weight of the vehicle, length of the grade, steepness, road conditions, and weather. Question 29. You should back and turn toward the driver's side. Unless you would have to drive around the block first. So you can watch the rear of the vehicle by looking out the side window. If you do not have someone to help you. Answer. So you can watch the rear of the vehicle by looking out the side window. Question 30. Containerized loads. Are generally used for freight carried part way by rail or ship. Should come with their own tie-down devices. Do not need to be inspected or secured by the driver. Answer. Are generally used for freight carried part way by rail or ship. Question 31. According to the driver's manual, why should you limit the use of your horn? It can startle other drivers. It wears down the battery. The horn is not a good way to let others know you're there. Answer. It can startle other drivers. Question 32. Which of these is a proper use of vehicle lights and flashers? Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you of a hazard that will require slowing down. Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you that you are going to stop on the road. All of these are correct. Answer. All of these are correct. Question 33. For an average commercial vehicle being driven at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement it will take about to bring the vehicle to stop. Twice the length of the vehicle. The length of a football field, 300 feet. Half the length of a football field, 150 feet. Answer. The length of a football field, 300 feet. Question 34. The most common cause of serious vehicle skids is Poorly adjusted brakes Driving too fast for road conditions Overinflated tires Answer Driving too fast for road conditions. Question 35. Name some suspension system defects. Leaking shock absorbers. Broken leaves in leaf spring and cracked or broken spring hanger. Both of the answers are correct. Answer. Both of the answers are correct. Question 36. Retarders Allow you to disconnect the steering axle brakes. Can cause the drive wheels to skid when they have poor traction. Cause extra brake wear. Answer can cause the drive wheels to skid when they have poor traction. Question 37. Overloading can have a bad effect on... Both of these are true. Speed control. 
staring. Answer. Both of these are true. Question 38. Which of these can cause the vehicle to skid? Not enough weight on the front axle. Over acceleration. AI of these can cause a vehicle to skid. Answer. AI of these can cause a vehicle to skid. Question 39. Which of these statements is true about vehicle fires? If the cargo or box trailer catches on fire, open the doors as soon as you can. A burning tire should be cooled with water. If your engine is on fire, open the hood as soon as you can. Answer A burning tire should be cooled with water. Question 40. What effects can wet brakes cause? Brakes can be weak to grab. Your foot can get tired. Brakes to work better. Answer. Brakes can be weak to grab. Question 41. Cargo inspections. Are needed only if hazardous materials are being hauled. Should be performed as part of your pre-trip inspection, again within the first 50 miles of your trip, then again after you have driven 3 hours or 150 miles, and after every break you take during driving. Are most often not the responsibilities of the driver. Answer should be performed as part of your pre-trip inspection, again within the first 50 miles of your trip, then again after you have driven 3 hours or 150 miles, and after every break you take during driving. Question 42. If your vehicle catches fire while you are driving, you should Park where a building or trees shelter your vehicle from the wind. Increase your speed to put out the flames. Park in an open area. Answer Park in an open area. Question 43. While driving, you see a small, one-foot square cardboard box ahead in your lane. You should Steer around it without making a sudden or unsafe move. Hit it with your vehicle to knock it off the road. Break hard to avoid hitting it. Answer Steer around it without making a sudden or unsafe move. Question 44. Every time you park your vehicle and shut the engine off you should Turn the steering wheel as far to the left as you can. Leave it in gear, if it has a manual transmission. Apply the parking brake. Answer Apply the parking brake. Question 45. Tie downs must be of proper type and strength. The combined strength of cargo tie downs must be strong enough to lift. One and one half times the weight of the cargo tied down. Three times the weight of the cargo tied down. Twice the weight of the cargo tied down. Answer. One and one half times the weight of the cargo tied down. Question 46. 
Which of the following should you not do in the event of hydraulic brake failure? Pump the brakes. Use the parking or emergency brake. Shift up. Answer. Shift up. Question 47, which item below lists almost all or all the emergency equipment that is required on a school bus? A fire extinguisher, flashlight, fusees, electrical fuses, if your vehicle uses them, a crowbar, emergency triangles, and a first aid kit, with an emergency medical card for each student inside the first aid kit. A crowbar and a fire extinguisher only. A can of brake fluid, flashlight, and a new bottle of window washer fluid. Answer A fire extinguisher, flashlight, fusees, electrical fuses, if your vehicle uses them, a crowbar, emergency triangles, and a first aid kit with an emergency medical card for each student inside the first aid kit. Question 48. Your vehicle has hydraulic brakes. When traveling on a level road, you press the brake pedal and find that it goes to the floor. Which of these statements is true? Pumping the brake will generate enough pressure to stop the vehicle. The parking brake will not work because it is part of the same hydraulic system. Shifting into neutral will help slow the vehicle. Answer Pumping the brake will generate enough pressure to stop the vehicle. Question 49 You are starting your vehicle from a stop. As you apply power to the driver wheels, they start to spin. You should Press harder on the accelerator. Take your foot off the accelerator. Try a lower gear. Answer Take your foot off the accelerator. Question 50. Which of these is especially true about your tires in hot weather? A small amount of air should be let out to keep air pressure steady. You should check tire mounting and air pressure before driving. If a tire is too hot to touch, you should hose it down with water. Answer. You should check tire mounting and air pressure before driving. Question 51. You must park on the side of a level, straight, four-lane, divided highway. Where should you place the three reflective triangles? One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. One about 10 feet from the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet from the front of the vehicle. One within 10 feet of the front of the vehicle, one about 200 feet from the front, and one about 100 feet to the rear. Answer One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle. One about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. Question 52. When backing, why is it important to use a helper? It's more fun when you have help. It makes people think you're a better driver. There are blind spots you can't see. Answer. There are blind spots you can't see. Question 53. Convex curved mirrors. 
show a wider area than flat mirrors. Make objects appear closer than they really are. Make objects appear larger than they really are. Answer Show a wider area than flat mirrors. Question 54. Which of these is a good thing to do when driving at night? Keep your instrument lights bright. Look directly at oncoming headlights only briefly. Drive slowly enough to stop within the range of your headlights. Answer Drive slowly enough to stop within the range of your headlights. Question 55. What is the minimum length for mad flaps? Within 6 inches from the surface of the road. Within 8 inches of the surface of the road. Within 10 inches of the surface of the road. Answer. Within 8 inches of the surface of the road. Question 56. High beams should be Used when it is safe and legal to do so. Turned on when an oncoming driver does not dim his or her lights. Dimmed at the time that you get within 100 feet of another vehicle. Answer Used when it is safe and legal to do so. Question 57. With the back of, most people lose consciousness, and some die. 0 0.1 0 0.16 0 0.4 Answer 0 0.4 Question 58. The road you are driving on becomes very slippery due to glare ice. Which of these is a good thing to do in such a situation? Downshift to stop. Stop driving as soon as you can safely do so. Apply the brakes often to keep the linings dry. Answer Stop driving as soon as you can safely do so. Question 59. If you are driving a long distance, you should Take a short break once or twice during the trip when you are feeling tired or drowsy. Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Avoid short breaks but keep the window open. Answer Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Question 60. Which of these statements is true about medicines used to treat the common cold? It often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving. It can be used while driving as long as you only take half the regular dose. It should only be used when driving during the daytime. Answer It often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving. Question 61. You are checking your steering and exhaust systems in your pre-trip inspection. Which of these problems should be fixed before the vehicle is driven? Oil on the tie rod. Steering play more than 10%, 2 inches on a 20 inch wheel. Gray smoke from the exhaust pipe. Answer Steering play more than 10%, 2 inches on a 20 inch wheel. 
Question 62. When looking ahead of your vehicle while driving you should look. Back and forth near and far. As far as your peripheral vision can see. To the right side of the road. Answer. Back and forth near and far. Question 63. Controlled braking is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Can be used while you are turning sharply. Involves locking the wheels for short periods of time. Answer Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Question 64. When approaching a traffic light that has been green for a long time, you should Continue at your current speed. Start to slow down so you will be ready to stop. Accelerate so you get through the light. Answer Start to slow down so you will be ready to stop. Question 65. What things should you check during a trip? Watch gauges, mirrors, and use your senses to check for problems. Look, listen, and smell. Map, directions, and weather report. Check load stability by slightly swerving left to right in your lane. Answer. Watch gauges, mirrors, and use your senses to check for problems. Look, listen, and smell. Question 66. You are checking your tires for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? A tread depth of 230 seconds inches safe for the front tires. Radial and bias ply tires can be used together on the same vehicle. Tires of mismatched sizes should not be used on the same vehicle. Answer Tires of mismatched sizes should not be used on the same vehicle. Question 67. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. You are asked to deliver hazardous material in a placarded vehicle. You should Haul the load, but only to the nearest place where a driver with a hazardous materials endorsement can take over. Refuse to haul the load. Take the placards off the vehicle. Answer. Refuse to haul the load. Question 68. To help you stay alert while driving, you should Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Schedule trips for hours you are normally asleep. Take cold medicine, if you have a cold. Answer. Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Question 69. Which of these statements is true about bad weather driving conditions? The road becomes more slippery as rain continues than when the rain began. Driving conditions become more dangerous as the temperature rises. When the temperature drops, bridges will freeze before roadways. Answer When the temperature drops, bridges will freeze before roadways. Question 70. Implied consent means when you sign the driver's license application form, you Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. 
understand that you may drink alcohol now before driving. Give your consent for your vehicle to be inspected for alcohol. Answer Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Question 71 When should you wear seat belts? Only in states where law requires it. Whenever you are hauling hazardous materials. Anytime you are in a moving vehicle. Answer Anytime you are in a moving vehicle. Question 72 When driving in cold weather conditions, your tire tread should have at least two thirty seconds inch tread on it. Have at least four thirty seconds inch tread on it. Provide enough traction to steer and push the vehicle through snow. Answer Provide enough traction to steer and push the vehicle through snow. Question 73. If you are driving a 30-foot vehicle at 55 miles per hour, how many seconds of following distance should you allow? 4 seconds 8 seconds 6 seconds Answer 4 seconds Question 74. Why are placards used? To communicate the risk. So hazardous materials are not mixed with food. It is the law. Answer. To communicate the risk. Question 75. An en route inspection should include checking for. Both of these are correct. Tire overheating and brake overheating. Cargo secured properly. Answer. Both of these are correct. Question 76. What is the definition of sleep debt? The money you owe hotels after resting there. The cumulative effect of not getting enough sleep. The amount of sleep you get each day. Answer The cumulative effect of not getting enough sleep. Question 77. Turn signals should be used at least 350 feet before turning or changing lanes. At least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. At least 250 feet before turning or changing lanes. Answer. At least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. Question 78. If you are being tailgated, you should Signal the tailgater when it is safe to pass you. Flash your brake lights. Increase your following distance. Answer. Increase your following distance. Question 79. Which of these statements about certain types of cargo is true? Oversized loads can be hauled without special permits during daylight hours. When liquids are hauled, the tank should always be loaded completely full. Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution on curves. Answer 
unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution on curves. Question 80. What should you do if a car coming towards you at night keeps its high beams on? Slow down and look straight ahead in your lane. Flash your high beams at the other driver. Look to the right edge of your lane or the right edge of the road. Answer Look to the right edge of your lane or the right edge of the road. Question 81. Stab braking should not be used on vehicles with Anti-lock brakes Air brakes Spring brakes Answer Anti-lock brakes Question 82. The road you are driving on becomes very slippery due to glare ice. Which of these is a good thing to do in such a situation? Apply the brakes often to keep the linings dry. Downshift to stop. Stop driving as soon as you can safely do so. Answer Stop driving as soon as you can safely do so. Question 83. What should you do when your vehicle hydroplanes? Accelerate slightly. Counter steer hard. Release the accelerator. Answer. Release the accelerator. Question 84. Which of these statements is true about vehicle fires? A burning tire should be cooled with water. If the cargo or box trailer catches on fire, open the doors as soon as you can. If your engine is on fire, open the hood as soon as you can. Answer A burning tire should be cooled with water. Question 85. A key principle to remember about loading cargo is to keep the load to the front, to the rear, balanced in the cargo area. Answer. Balanced in the cargo area. Question 86. Name some important steering system parts. Main spring, axle, and spring shackle. Tie rod, spindle, and pitman arm. Leaf spring, vehicle frame, and torque rod. Answer. Tie rod, spindle, and pitman arm. Question 87. Overloading can have a bad effect on Both of these are true. Steering Speed control Answer Both of these are true. Question 88. The distance your vehicle travels from the time your eyes see a hazard until your brain recognizes it is called distance. Reaction Breaking Perception Answer Perception Question 89 you are starting your vehicle from a stop. As you apply power to the driver wheels, they start to spin. You should Press harder on the accelerator. Try a lower gear. Take your foot off the accelerator. 
Answer. Take your foot off the accelerator. Question 90. Which of these statements about engine overheating is true? You should never remove the radiator cap on a pressurized system until the system has cooled. You should never shut off an overheated engine until it cools. If your engine overheats within 20 miles of the end of your trip, you should complete the trip and then check the problem. Answer You should never remove the radiator cap on a pressurized system until the system has cooled. Question 91. If the vehicle in front of you is smaller than yours, it can probably Outrun you Take turns faster than you Stop faster than you Answer Stop faster than you Question 92 you are checking your steering and exhaust systems in your pre-trip inspection. Which of these problems should be fixed before the vehicle is driven? Steering play more than 10%, 2 inches on a 20-inch wheel. Gray smoke from the exhaust pipe. Oil on the tie rod. Answer. Staring play more than 10%, 2 inches on a 20-inch wheel. Question 93. When roads are slippery you should Take turns as carefully as possible. Stop and test the traction while going up hills. Decrease the distance that you look ahead of your vehicle. Answer. Take turns as carefully as possible. Question 94. What are two special occasions where you should downshift? Before starting down a hill and before entering a curve. Before starting up a hill and when going around a curve. When starting off fast and speed shifting. Answer. Before starting down a hill and before entering a curve. Question 95. What is the minimum tread depth for tires other than front tires? 230 seconds inch. 330 seconds inch. 430 seconds inch. Answer. 230 seconds inch. Question 96. It is important to shift gears correctly to keep the engine warm, the engine oil flowing, control of the vehicle. Answer. Control of the vehicle. Question 97. Which of these tell you that cargo contains hazardous materials? Both of these answers are correct. A hazardous materials placard on the vehicle. A 4-inch, diamond-shaped hazardous materials label on the container. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 98. One can recognize hazardous materials by looking at the containers. Color. Shape. Label. Answer. Label. Question 99. 
How far ahead should you look? 5 10 seconds. 12 15 seconds. 15 30 seconds. Answer 12 15 seconds. Question 100. How can you avoid the effects that wet brakes can cause? Slow down and place the transmission in low gear. Gently put on the brakes and increase engine RPM. Cross the water while keeping light pressure on the brakes. Both of these answers are correct. Answer both of these answers are correct. Question 101. Hydroplaning Cannot occur when driving through a puddle. Only occurs at speeds above 50 miles per hour. Is more likely when the tire pressure is low. Answer is more likely when the tire pressure is low. Question 102. What is the minimum tread depth for front tires? 2 30 seconds inch. 4 30 seconds inch. 1 30 second inch. Answer. For 30 seconds inch. Question 103. An en route inspection should include checking for Tire overheating and brake overheating. Cargo secured properly. Both of these are correct. Answer. Both of these are correct. Question 104. To avoid a crash, you had to drive onto the right shoulder. You are now driving at 40 miles per hour on the shoulder. How should you move back onto the pavement? Brake hard to slow the vehicle, then steer sharply onto the pavement. Come to a complete stop, if possible before steering back onto the pavement. Keep moving at the present speed and steer very gently back onto the pavement. Answer Come to a complete stop, if possible, before steering back onto the pavement. Question 105 in your mirror you see a car approaching from the rear. The next time you check your mirror you don't see the car. To change lanes you should Wait until you are sure the car isn't in your blind spot. Assume the car left the roadway and change lanes as normal. Ease into the other lane slowly so the other car can get out of the way. Answer. Wait until you are sure the car isn't in your blind spot. Question 106. Overloading can have a bad effect on Speed control. Both of these are true. Staring. Answer. Both of these are true. Question 107. Gross Vehicle Weight Rating, GVWR, means the following. Maximum GVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle. Maximum GVW specified by the manufacturer. Maximum GVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle including its load. Answer 
maximum GEVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle including its load. Question 108. What three things add up to total stopping distance for your truck or bus? Attention distance, reaction distance, slowing distance. Perception distance, reaction distance, braking distance. Observation distance, reaction distance, braking distance. Answer. Perception distance, reaction distance, braking distance. Question 109. You should signal continuously while turning because Most vehicles have self-canceling signals. It is illegal to turn off your signal before completing a turn. You need both hands on the wheel to turn safely. Answer. It is illegal to turn off your signal before completing a turn. Question 110. Which of these statements is true about medicines used to treat the common cold? It can be used while driving as long as you only take half the regular dose. It should only be used when driving during the daytime. It often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving. Answer It often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving. Question 111. Tie downs must be of proper type and strength. The combined strength of cargo tie downs must be strong enough to lift. One and one half times the weight of the cargo tied down. Twice the weight of the cargo tied down. Three times the weight of the cargo tied down. Answer. One and one half times the weight of the cargo tied down. Question 112. Which of these statements about cold weather driving is true? Windshield washer antifreeze should be used. An engine cannot overheat when the weather is very cold. Exhaust system leaks are less dangerous in cold weather. Answer Windshield washer antifreeze should be used. Question 113. How far ahead should you look? 15-30 seconds. 12-15 seconds. 5-10 seconds. Answer. 12-15 seconds. Question 114. You are checking your wheels and rims for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? Rust around lug nuts may mean that they are loose. A vehicle can be safely driven with one missing lug nut on a wheel. Cracked wheels or rims can be used if they have been welded. Answer Rust around lug nuts may mean that they are loose. Question 115. Containerized loads Should come with their own tie-down devices. Are generally used for freight carried partway by rail or ship. Do not need to be inspected or secured by the driver. Answer. Are generally used for freight carried part way by rail or ship. Question 116. 
Which of these statements is true regarding the use of drugs while driving? No prescription or non-prescription drugs are allowed at any time for any reason. Prescription drugs are allowed as long as the doctor says the drugs will not affect safe driving ability. Use of amphetamines, like speed is allowed as long as you are using the drugs to stay awake. Answer Prescription drugs are allowed as long as the doctor says the drugs will not affect safe driving ability. Question 117. Which of these is not caused by rough acceleration? Damage to the coupling. Mechanical damage. Tire damage. Answer. Tire damage. Question 118. The total weight of the powered unit, the trailer, and the cargo is called Gross vehicle weight Gross axle weight Gross combination weight Answer Gross combination weight Question 119 an en route inspection should include checking for Cargo secured properly Both of these are correct Tire overheating and brake overheating Answer Both of these are correct Question 120 which of these items is not checked on a pre-trip inspection? Cargo securement Amount of fuel in the vehicle Whether all vehicle lights are working and clean Answer Amount of fuel in the vehicle Question 121, which of the following cannot be checked at the same time? Headlights and amber reflectors Brake light, turn signal and four-way flasher functions Brake lights and red reflectors, on rear Answer Brake light, turn signal and four-way flasher functions Question 122. Escape ramps are Used to stop runaway vehicles For combination vehicles only Used to get out of a burning truck Answer Used to stop runaway vehicles Question 123. If the vehicle in front of you is smaller than yours, it can probably Take turns faster than you Stop faster than you Outrun you Answer Stop faster than you Question 124. When inspecting mirrors and windshields for cracks, dirt, and illegal stickers, or other obstructions to your vision, you should Clean and adjust as necessary. Not worry about any of it. Look in the mirror, to see if you look good. Answer Clean and adjust as necessary. Question 125. Gross vehicle weight, GVW, means the following. Total weight of the vehicle axle. 
the total weight of a single vehicle including its load. Total weight of a single vehicle. Answer. The total weight of a single vehicle including its load. Question 126. Prior to driving, what are some of the items you should check the interior of the bus for? School books and student belongings. Trash and clothing. Both of these answers are correct. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 127. Implied consent means when you sign the driver's license application form, you Understand that you may drink alcohol now before driving. Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Give your consent for your vehicle to be inspected for alcohol. Answer Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Question 128. Convex curved mirrors. Show a wider area than flat mirrors. Make objects appear larger than they really are. Make objects appear closer than they really are. Answer. Show a wider area than flat mirrors. Question 129. How far ahead should you look? 15 30 seconds. 5 10 seconds. 12 15 seconds. Answer. 12 15 seconds. Question 130. If you are convicted for driving under the influence while driving a commercial vehicle, and this is your first offense, you will most likely get Probation for a period of one year A fine of $500 At least a one-year suspension of your CDL Answer at least a one-year suspension of your CDL. Question 131. Which of these is a good rule to follow when using a fire extinguisher? Aim at the base of the fire. Keep as close to the fire as possible. Stay downwind of the fire. Answer. Aim at the base of the fire. Question 132. How do you calculate how many seconds of following distance space you have? Divide your speed by far and add one second for every 10 feet of trailer you are hauling. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark. Then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot, then multiply your figure by 2. Answer Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Question 133. When getting in to start the engine and inspect inside the cab you must Start the engine and listen for unusual noises. Both of these answers are correct. Make sure the parking brake is on and put the gear shift in neutral, or park if automatic. Answer 
Both of these answers are correct. Question 134. A driver's trip log if required. Must be shown immediately when an officer requests it. May be written in pencil. May be brought up to date once a week. Answer. Must be shown immediately when an officer requests it. Question 135. Which of the following best describes how sleep debt can be paid off? It will go away by itself over a period of time. It can only be paid off by sleeping. Overcome it with willpower and non-sleep aids. Answer. It can only be paid off by sleeping. Question 136. Whether or not you load and secure your load yourself, you are responsible for. Knowing your cargo is securely tied down and covered. Both answers are correct. Recognizing overloads and poorly balanced weight. Answer. Both answers are correct. Question 137. Dry bulk tanks require special care because. Both of these are true. They have a high center of gravity. The load can shift. Answer. Both of these are true. Question 138. Retarders. Can cause the drive wheels to skid when they have poor traction. Cause extra brake wear. Allow you to disconnect the steering axle brakes. Answer. Can cause the drive wheels to skid when they have poor traction. Question 139. Convex curved mirrors. Make objects appear larger than they really are. Make objects appear closer than they really are. Show a wider area than flat mirrors. Answer. Show a wider area than flat mirrors. Question 140. How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Drive slowly and pump the brake metal. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor. Drive 20 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold it for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Answer. Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold it for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Question 141. The distance you should look ahead. While driving at highway speeds. One half mile. One eighth mile. One fourth mile. Answer. One fourth mile. Question 142. You are driving a new truck with a manual transmission. What gear will you probably have to use to take a long, steep downhill grade? A lower gear than you would use to climb the hill. Shift into neutral and coast. The same gear you would use to climb the hill. Answer. A lower gear than you would use to climb the hill. 
Question 143, which of these is true about hours of service? You should balance your hours of service with enough sleep to keep you alert. After 1000 hours of service you will be exempt from certain regulations. You must take a break after every two hours of driving. Answer You should balance your hours of service with enough sleep to keep you alert. Question 144 What should you do if you get stuck on the railroad tracks? Stay in your vehicle. Scream for help. Get out of your vehicle and away from the tracks. Answer Get out of your vehicle and away from the tracks. Question 145 When driving in cold weather conditions, your tar tread should Provide enough traction to steer and push the vehicle through snow. Have at least 230 seconds and tread on it. Have at least 430 seconds and tread on it. Answer Provide enough traction to steer and push the vehicle through snow. Question 146. You are driving in the right lane of a four-lane, undivided road. You come over a hill and find a car stopped ahead in your lane. You do not have room to stop. The hill blocks your view to the rear. The shoulder is clear. Which of these is most likely the best action to take? Steer to the right. Use hard braking and brace for collision. Steer into the left lane. Answer Steer to the right. Question 147 Which of these can cause the vehicle to skid? Over acceleration. Not enough weight on the front axle. AI of these can cause a vehicle to skid. Answer AI of these can cause a vehicle to skid. Question 148 Why are placards used? To communicate the risk. So hazardous materials are not mixed with food. It is the law. Answer To communicate the risk. Question 149 Which of the following may be a sign of tire failure? Wheels fishtailing. A loud hissing noise. Gentle thumping. Answer Wheels fishtailing. Question 150 You must inspect your cargo. After every break. Both of these answers are correct. Every 3 hours or 150 miles. Answer both of these answers are correct. Question 151. To prevent skidding, you should Brake hard at all stops. Turn the wheel sharply for all turns. Adjust to conditions while driving. Answer Adjust to conditions while driving. Question 152. If you are being tailgated, you should 
signal the tailgater when it is safe to pass you. Flash your brake lights. Increase your following distance. Answer. Increase your following distance. Question 153. What effects can wet brakes cause? Your foot can get tired. Brakes can be weak to grab. Brakes to work better. Answer. Brakes can be weak to grab. Question 154. Which of these statements about drinking alcohol is true? Alcohol first affects judgment and self-control, which are essential for safe driving. Statistics show that drivers who have been drinking have a much greater chance of being in a crash. All of these are true. Answer All of these are true. Question 155. If you cannot see well with your headlights when driving in an area with few streetlights on a clear night, you should Use your high beams when legal and keep your interior light off. Find another route that is better lit. Turn your interior lights on. Answer Use your high beams when legal and keep your interior light off. Question 156. The best drivers are those who watch and prepare for hazards. This is called being Defensive Objective Offensive Answer Defensive. Question 157. Implied consent means when you sign the driver's license application form, you Give your consent for your vehicle to be inspected for alcohol. Understand that you may drink alcohol now before driving. Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Answer. Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Question 158. Which of these is correct regarding brake shoes? Brake shoes should be larger than a quarter on the steering axle. Brake shoes should have the same thickness of a penny. Brake shoes should not be worn dangerously thin. Answer Brake shoes should not be worn dangerously thin. Question 159 Gross Vehicle Weight Rating, GVWR, means the following. Maximum GVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle. Maximum GVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle including its load. Maximum GVW specified by the manufacturer. Answer. Maximum GVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle including its load. Question 160. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. The manual slack adjusters of the S-CAM brakes will not be set properly. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Answer 
either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 161. While driving, ice builds up on your wipers and they no longer clean the windshield. You should Keep driving, and spray the windshield with washer fluid. Stop safely and fix the problem. Keep driving, and turn your defroster on. Drive slower until you can see again. Answer Stop safely and fix the problem. Question 162. Which of these statements is true about brakes? Brakes absorb more heat to stop heavier vehicles. Brake drums cool very quickly when the vehicle is moving very fast. Brake fade is not caused by heat. Answer Brakes absorb more heat to stop heavier vehicles. Question 163. Gross vehicle weight, GVW, means the following. Total weight of a single vehicle. Total weight of the vehicle axle. The total weight of a single vehicle including its load. Answer. The total weight of a single vehicle including its load. Question 164. You should schedule your driving. For the hours you are normally awake. Between the hours of 4 a.m. and 6 p.m. Between the hours of 10 a.m. and midnight. Answer. For the hours you are normally awake. Question 165. You should back and turn toward the driver's side. Unless you would have to drive around the block first. So you can watch the rear of the vehicle by looking out the side window. If you do not have someone to help you. Answer. So you can watch the rear of the vehicle by looking out the side window. Question 166. What should you do before driving if you are sleepy? Get some sleep before you drive. Drink some coffee. Take some caffeine pills. Answer. Get some sleep before you drive. Question 167. If you are driving a long distance, you should Take a short break once or twice during the trip when you are feeling tired or drowsy. Avoid short breaks but keep the window open. Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Answer Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Question 168. Inspect your cargo after you have driven. 25 miles or 50 miles depending on the law and the state you are in, then again after 3 hours or after you have driven 150 miles and after every stop for a break. 150 miles 75 miles Answer 25 miles or 50 miles depending on the law and the state you are in, then again after 3 hours or after you have driven 150 miles and after every stop for a break. 
Question 169. Which of the following statements is true? Many heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight and 6 a.m. Most hazards are more easily seen at night than during the day. Most people are more alert at night than during the day. Answer Many heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight and 6 a.m. Question 170. If you must stop on a hill in a two-way, two-lane road, how far back should you place your reflective triangles? Within 250 feet behind the vehicle. Within 100 feet behind the vehicle. Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Answer. Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Question 171. Which of these can cause the vehicle to skid? Over acceleration. AI of these can cause a vehicle to skid. Not enough weight on the front axle. Answer. AI of these can cause a vehicle to skid. Question 172. Which of these items is not checked on a pre-trip inspection? Whether all vehicle lights are working and clean. Cargo securement. Amount of fuel in the vehicle. Answer. Amount of fuel in the vehicle. Question 173. You should have a minimum of tread on your steering tires. One fourth inch. Four thirty seconds inch. Two thirty seconds inch. Answer. Four thirty seconds inch. Question 174. What are some advantages of going right instead of left around an obstacle? You can avoid a head-on collision. Both answers are correct. Someone may be passing to the left. Answer. Both answers are correct. Question 175. Which of these is a proper use of vehicle lights and flashers? Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you of a hazard that will require slowing down. Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you that you are going to stop on the road. All of these are correct. Answer. All of these are correct. Question 176. Dry bulk tanks and hanging meat. Have low centers of gravity. Earns table loads. Do not require special care. Answer. Earns table loads. Question 177. Which of these statements about tires and hot weather driving is true? If a tire is too hot to touch, you should drive on it to cool it off. You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. The air pressure of a tire decreases as the temperature of the tire increases. Answer. You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. 
Question 178. Which of these can cause a fire? Underinflated tires. Loose fuel connections. All the answers are correct. Answer. All the answers are correct. Question 179. How can you avoid wet brake problems? Apply the brakes harder and faster. Slow down, shift to a low gear gently put on the brakes. Speed up or shift to a higher gear. Answer. Slow down, shift to a low gear gently put on the brakes. Question 180. Which of these statements about cold weather driving is true? Windshield washer antifreeze should be used. An engine cannot overheat when the weather is very cold. Exhaust system leaks are less dangerous in cold weather. Answer Windshield washer antifreeze should be used. Question 181. Name some things you should check on the front of your vehicle during your pre-trip inspection. Oil, transmission, air compressor, and radiator. Low beams, comma dot high beams, four-way flashers, and turn signals. Windshield wipers, mirrors, and hood latches. Answer. Low beams, comma dot high beams, four-way flashers, and turn signals. Question 182. Why are placards used? So hazardous materials are not mixed with food. To communicate the risk. It is the law. Answer. To communicate the risk. Question 183. What is the proper way to hold the steering wheel? Firmly with both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. With your right hand on the wheel. Firmly with one hand at the top of the wheel and the other hand at the bottom of the wheel. Answer. Firmly with both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. Question 184. You are checking your wheels and rims for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? A vehicle can be safely driven with one missing lug nut on a wheel. Rust around lug nuts may mean that they are loose. Cracked wheels or rims can be used if they have been welded. Answer Rust around lug nuts may mean that they are loose. Question 185 If you have a heavy load that is slowing you down on an upgrade you should Drive on the shoulder so that others can pass easily. Exit the roadway until traffic is lighter. Shift into a lower gear. Answer. Shift into a lower gear. Question 186. Overloading can have a bad effect on Speed control Steering both of these are true. Answer. Both of these are true. Question 187. Over length, over width, and, or overweight loads require. 
driving limited to certain times. Both answers are correct. Flashing lights. Answer. Both answers are correct. Question 188. The new back, blood alcohol concentration, for commercial drivers to be considered intoxicated when driving a commercial vehicle is 0.02 0.02 0.03 Answer. 0.04 Question 189. Underloaded front axles can cause the following. Too much play in the steering wheel. Both of these are true. Poor traction and damage to the tires. Answer. Both of these are true. Question 190. When checking lights you should. Both of these answers are correct. Turn on the headlights and four-way flashers. Turn off the engine and take the key with you. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 191. You should try to park your vehicle so. Your vehicle is protected by trees or some overhang. You can pull forward when you leave. There is at least one curb next to your vehicle. Answer. You can pull forward when you leave. Question 192. When should you downshift automatic transmissions? When going down grades. When going up grades. When going around curves. Answer. When going down grades. Question 193. Which of these is true about hours of service? You should balance your hours of service with enough sleep to keep you alert. After 1000 hours of service you will be exempt from certain regulations. You must take a break after every two hours of driving. Answer. You should balance your hours of service with enough sleep to keep you alert. Question 194. To prevent a load from shifting, there should be at least one tie down for every feet of cargo. 15 7 10 Answer. 10. Question 195. When driving in cold weather conditions, your tire tread should have at least 4 30 seconds inch tread on it. Have at least 2 30 seconds inch tread on it. Provide enough traction to steer and push the vehicle through snow. Answer. Provide enough traction to steer and push the vehicle through snow. Question 196. Which of these statements is true about backing heavy vehicles? It's safer to back toward the right side of the vehicle. You should avoid backing whenever you can. Helpers should be out of sight and use only spoken signals to communicate with the driver. 
Answer. You should avoid backing whenever you can. Question 197. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. You are asked to deliver hazardous material in a placarded vehicle. You should haul the load, but only to the nearest place where a driver with a hazardous materials endorsement can take over. Take the placards off the vehicle. Refuse to haul the load. Answer. Refuse to haul the load. Question 198. What three things add up to total stopping distance for your truck or bus? Perception distance, reaction distance, braking distance. Observation distance, reaction distance, braking distance. Attention distance, reaction distance, slowing distance. Answer. Perception distance, reaction distance, braking distance. Question 199. It takes the body about hours to get rid of the alcohol in four drinks. Six. Four. Two. Answer. Four. Question 200. If you go twice as fast your stopping distance will increase by Three times Two times Four times Answer Four times Question 201. What are two special occasions where you should downshift? Before starting up a hill and when going around a curve. Before starting down a hill and before entering a curve. When starting off fast and speed shifting. Answer. Before starting down a hill and before entering a curve. Question 202. You must park on the side of a level, straight, two-lane road. Where should you place the reflective triangle? One about 50 feet to the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. Answer One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. Question 203. Name two causes of fires. Driver smoking and following too close. Underinflated tires and duels that touch. Tight turns and gravel roads. Answer. Underinflated tires and duels that touch. Question 204. When taking a break in the middle of your trip you should check. Critical items, windshield wiper blades, heater, and defroster. Critical items such as, tires, brakes, and cargo tie-downs. Call in and check with dispatch. Answer. Critical items such as, 
tires, brakes, and cargo tie-downs. Question 205. To correct a drive wheel braking skid you should Turn slowly. Keep your foot off the clutch. Counter steer. Answer. Counter steer. Question 206. What is an advantage of going right instead of left around an obstacle? If you are blocked on both sides, a move to the right won't force anybody into an opposing traffic lane and a possible head-on collision. There is no advantage. It is much easier to turn a truck to the right. Answer If you are blocked on both sides, a move to the right won't force anybody into an opposing traffic lane and a possible head-on collision. Question 207 how far can the Board of Education make a student walk to their assigned pick-up location? 250 yards 1 half mile 150 yards Answer 1 half mile Question 208 you are driving a vehicle that could safely be driven at 55 miles per hour on an open road, but traffic is now heavy, moving at 35 miles per hour, although the speed limit is 55. The safest speed for your vehicle in this situation is most likely 45 miles per hour, 35 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour. Answer 35 miles per hour Question 209 What things should you check during a trip? Map, directions, and weather report Watch gauges, mirrors, and use your senses to check for problems Look, listen, and smell Check load stability by slightly swerving left to right in your lane. Answer Watch gauges, mirrors, and use your senses to check for problems. Look, listen, and smell. Question 210 Which of these statements about tires and hot weather driving is true? You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. If a tire is too hot to touch, you should drive on it to cool it off. The air pressure of a tire decreases as the temperature of the tire increases. Answer you should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. Question 211. Which of these statements is true about causes of vehicle fires? Poor trailer ventilation can cause flammable cargo to catch on fire. Underinflated tires will not cause a vehicle fire. Carrying a properly charged fire extinguisher will help prevent fires. Answer Poor trailer ventilation can cause flammable cargo to catch on fire. Question 212 Which of these is a proper use of vehicle lights and flashers? Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you that you are going to stop on the road. Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you of a hazard that will require slowing down.
All of these are correct. Answer. All of these are correct. Question 213. Which of these statements about certain types of cargo is true? When liquids are hauled, the tank should always be loaded completely full. Oversized loads can be hauled without special permits during daylight hours. Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution on curves. Answer Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution on curves. Question 214. When checking the bus seats, what are you looking for? To ensure they are securely fastened to the bus. Both of these answers are correct. To see if they have been removed. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 215. Which of these statements is true about bad weather driving conditions? Driving conditions become more dangerous as the temperature rises. The road becomes more slippery as rain continues than when the rain began. When the temperature drops, bridges will freeze before roadways. Answer when the temperature drops, bridges will freeze before roadways. Question 216. There are three types of a vehicle inspections. Which of these is one of them? En route. Post-trip and pre-trip. All of these answers are correct. Answer. All of these answers are correct. Question 217. Your vehicle has hydraulic brakes. When traveling on a level road, you press the brake pedal and find that it goes to the floor. Which of these statements is true? Shifting into neutral will help slow the vehicle. Pumping the brake will generate enough pressure to stop the vehicle. The parking brake will not work because it is part of the same hydraulic system. Answer Pumping the brake will generate enough pressure to stop the vehicle. Question 218 Dry bulk tanks and hanging meat do not require special care. Have low centers of gravity. Are unstable loads. Answer. Are unstable loads. Question 219. What three things related to cargo are the driver's responsibility? Weighing the cargo, securing the cargo, and delivering the cargo. Inspecting the cargo, recognizing overloads, and properly securing the cargo. Inspecting the cargo, hauling the cargo, and securing the cargo. Answer Inspecting the cargo, recognizing overloads, and properly securing the cargo. Question 220. Gross Vehicle Weight Rating, GVWR, means the following. Maximum GVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle including its load. Maximum GVW specified by the manufacturer. Maximum GVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle.
Answer. Maximum GEVW specified by manufacturer for a single vehicle including its load. Question 221. Which of these is not part of the pre-trip inspection of the engine compartment? Valve clearance. Condition of hoses. Worn electrical wiring insulation. Answer. Valve clearance. Question 222. What is the first thing you should try to do if your brakes fail while driving downhill? Get off the road as soon as possible. Try to use your parking brake to stop. Call a radio for help. Answer. Get off the road as soon as possible. Question 223. Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly. A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly. Answer. A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Question 224. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. You can drive a vehicle hauling hazardous materials when The cargo will be transported less than 100 miles. The vehicle does not require placards. A person who has the hazardous materials endorsement rides with you. Answer. The vehicle does not require placards. Question 225. The purpose of a baffle is to Separate the load. Control the load surge. To keep expansion of load down. Answer. Control the load surge. Question 226. To avoid a crash, you had to drive onto the right shoulder. You are now driving at 40 miles per hour on the shoulder. How should you move back onto the pavement? Keep moving at the present speed and steer very gently back onto the pavement. Brake hard to slow the vehicle. Then steer sharply on to the pavement. Come to a complete stop, if possible, before steering back onto the pavement. Answer. Come to a complete stop, if possible, before steering back onto the pavement. Question 227. What is a hazard? Any road condition or other road user that is a possible danger. A flashing amber light. A small animal. Answer. Any road condition or other road user that is a possible danger. Question 228. Name some things you should check on the front of your vehicle during your pre-trip inspection. Windshield wipers, mirrors, and hood latches. Oil, transmission, air compressor, and radiator. Low beams, comma dot high beams, four-way flashers, and turn signals. Answer. Low beams, comma dot high beams, four-way flashers, and turn signals.
Question 229, which of these can cause a fire? Underinflated tires. Loose fuel connections. All the answers are correct. Answer. All the answers are correct. Question 230. During what time in your pre-trip inspection of a school bus do you check the back emergency door? To ensure it is closed. During step 4, lights first half, the inside walk through. Only during the operation inspection of the pre-trip. Only during the inside walk through. Answer. During step 4, lights first half, the inside walk through. Question 231. Cargo that is not loaded or secured properly can cause many problems. Which of these statements is true? Loose cargo can cause injury to the driver or passengers during a quick stop or crash. Other highway users can hit or be hit by loose cargo. Both answers are correct. Answer. Both answers are correct. Question 232. Tank vehicles are used to carry any liquid and are dangerous to drive because Danger of load surge. Both of these answers are true. High center of gravity. Answer. Both of these answers are true. Question 233. Which of these statements is true about medicines used to treat the common cold? It can be used while driving as long as you only take half the regular dose. It should only be used when driving during the daytime. It often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving. Answer It often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving. Question 234. While driving, you see a small, one-foot square, cardboard box ahead in your lane. You should Brake hard to avoid hitting it. Hit it with your vehicle to knock it off the road. Steer around it without making a sudden or unsafe move. Answer Steer around it without making a sudden or unsafe move. Question 235. Underloaded front axles can cause the following. Both of these are true. Too much play in the steering wheel. Poor traction and damage to the tires. Answer. Both of these are true. Question 236. What are the two main things to look for ahead? Road signs and traffic. Police and way stations. Traffic and road conditions. Answer. Traffic and road conditions. Question 237. The most important reason for being alert to hazards is so. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Accident reports will be accurate. Answer. 
you will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 238. You should back and turn toward the driver's side. So you can watch the rear of the vehicle by looking out the side window. If you do not have someone to help you. Unless you would have to drive around the block first. Answer. So you can watch the rear of the vehicle by looking out the side window. Question 239. What should you do before driving if you are sleepy? Get some sleep before you drive. Drink some coffee. Take some caffeine pills. Answer. Get some sleep before you drive. Question 240. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? The manual slack adjusters of the S-CAM brakes will not be set properly. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. Answer Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 241. Convex Curved Mirrors Make objects appear closer than they really are. Show a wider area than flat mirrors. Make objects appear larger than they really are. Answer. Show a wider area than flat mirrors. Question 242. Which of these is a good thing to remember when crossing or entering traffic with a heavy vehicle? Because heavy vehicles are easy to see, you can count on other drivers to move out of your way or slow down for you. Heavy vehicles need larger gaps in traffic than cars. The best way to cross traffic is to pull the vehicle part way across the road and block one lane while waiting for the other to clear. Answer Heavy vehicles need larger gaps in traffic than cars. Question 243. Stop braking. Involve steady pressure on the brake pedal without locking the wheels. Should never be used. Involves releasing the brakes only after the wheels lock up. Answer. Involves releasing the brakes only after the wheels lock up. Question 244. As part of your pre-trip inspection you must. Both of these are correct. Check for poorly balanced weight. Check for overloads. Answer. Both of these are correct. Question 245. Which of these statements about overhead clearance is true? You should assume posted clearance signs are correct. If the road surface causes your vehicle to tilt toward objects at the edge of the road, you should drive close to the shoulder. The weight of a vehicle changes its height. Answer. The weight of a vehicle changes its height. Question 246. A helper should be used to help back your vehicle. When you have a trailer. Whenever possible. 
when you need to back on a curved path. Answer. Whenever possible. Question 247. What should wheel bearing seals be checked for? Gasoline. Leaks. Color changes. Answer. Leaks. Question 248. To help you stay alert while driving, you should Take cold medicine, if you have a cold. Schedule trips for hours you are normally asleep. Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Answer Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.